Hey, what is up you guys? So in this video, I just want to share how I use this popular workflow from JBoogX to create this. And if you like this video and want to see more tutorials on AI, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button. Okay, so first, click on the link provided down below to download the JBoog X workflow. Once you download the workflow, open up your Comfy UI and drag the workflow into your Comfy UI. Now, once you've done that, just click on Manager and click on Install Missing Custom Nodes and install all the ones you are missing for this project. Mine is empty because I already installed everything for this project already. You guys might have some nodes to install on this Windows screen. Now, after that's completed, you might get two error text boxes, one from App Text and one from Pre-Text. You can just remove them and replace it with another text box or just remove it completely. I did not use these text boxes for my project so you guys don't really need them unless you're trying to experiment something else. You might also get another error saying import failed reactor node for comfy UI. If you do, then watch my other video on how to fix this problem. Now that we got all the installation complete, let's go over the setting on how I got my results. First, I want you to come to box number 4 and copy these two purple box called fast bypass and paste it here to optional IP adapter reference images and just disable the entire thing. Cause when I had this thing enabled, my results came out funky every time, like this. Okay, so once you disable that, come to box 1A and upload the video you want to use as a reference. I also found out that it's best for you to pick a video that has a similar clothing style to the anime character you want to make. Now the reason for this is because the depth control net plays an important role on making the character move more naturally. Open pose helps with this but the depth control will actually tell the AI that the character is spinning around. So if you get a dancing video where the person turns around and have the death control neck turned off, it might look like this. And if you set the death setting high, your character will match the sample video model's clothing and it's gonna look like this. Somebody gonna get So try to get a sample video where the model is wearing something similar to the character you want to create. Kind of like this. Now once that's done, change the frame load cap to 10 so you don't have to wait too long to see the results and making sure you get the re results you want and not something like this. Now this is supposed to be Kim Jong-un but it just came out like this, I got no idea. Now once that's done, come up to here to box number 3, Laura's. Enable the bypass by clicking here. I am only going to use 3 Laura's so I'm going to disable the other 2 by right clicking it and clicking on bypass. And here I am going to click on Missouri and Missouri 05 and add detail. I like to use strength 0.7 for the character Laura's and for add detail I like it at strength 0.6. 
then I'm gonna scroll down and go to load checkpoint I like to use anything ink based checkpoint for all anime characters it does a pretty good job majority of the time and once you select selected the checkpoint click on load VAE and select the one you got for me I use this VAE FTMS 84 000 EMA prune and once you've done that you can now go over to the control nets in box number four so for most of the anime characters I like to enable line art soft edge depth and open pose once you enable them you can go to line art and change it to line art anime for better results and now for line art and soft edge i like to change the strength to 0.15 and end percent to 0.2 if you set these numbers low the ai tries to create your character based on your prompt and the lowest if you set these settings high the character will look more like the sample video now for depth and open pose, it can be set a bit higher because these two help with the character movement. However, depth also plays a little part on the model of the character as well. As I explained earlier in the video, so for open pose strength, I left it at 0.6 and end percent at 0.85. And for depth control, I like to set it the same as open pose, strength uh, 0.6 and end percent at 0.85. Make sure you check each control net and you got it installed or you might get this error. And to fix it, you just have to change the control net model. Now in the anime diff nodes, just change both to V2 lower zoom out and in the anime diff loader, I changed it to motion model. I think this one works best with most of the anime type characters. So I just like to use the motion model one. And now for the prompt. Make sure there are no commas at the end of your prompt or you will get an error. I got my mystery prompt from the website Civit AI. I just copied it and pasted in based on the Laura I use. I downloaded this one, so I'm going to just copy and paste the prompt from this picture. I don't care too much about the background stuff, so I'm just gonna delete this set of prompt. And now you can look at the metadata on Civit AI and just copy that. So here it says guidance is 7. Guidance is just basically CFG here. So we're just going to change it to 7. The steps is 30. So we're going to change it to 30. And it's set to DPM++. So that's going to be DPM PP. PP just means plus plus and once we're done with that and Karis is gonna be Karis and after we're done with that we're gonna go to low rest reactor face swap and once here we're just gonna enable it and upload a reference picture to your character try to pick a picture where the face is like really zoomed in because this is the face that the AI is going to use to put into the video. Now for the negative prop, you can install the embeddings from Civit AI as well. Install each one, just drag it into your embedding folder from Comfy UI. You can get this video from your output folder and if you want images frame by frame, you can just add node, go to image, save image then just connect this image to save image and the images will get saved into your output folder 
If you like the results, go back to your frame load cap and change the number to zero and then you get the entire video from the sample video. And here's the final result. If you like this tutorial and want to see more, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button. And I'll see you guys next time.